the idea is is that you are a quantum creator and so everything is a reflection of you um it doesn't mean don't follow your intuition follow your intuition your intuition is like the highest consciousness is coming through you in the heart frequency and everything's a reflection of you so if you want to see changes in the world this is a place for us to come together and create the world that we want to see Not from a place of lack or needing it to be different because we're thankful for everything exactly the way that it is right now. Otherwise, we couldn't be sharing this beautiful moment, right? But from a place of um, stepping into our power and being conscious creators, it's if you're watching this, you're doing that in your life already, and I'm happy for you. And now I'm inviting you to co-create with us on the... <laughs> on the mass level um, to, to make changes to sort of like larger structures, structures in society. You can just hit mute for a second, who if you can, I don't know. Yeah. Disable, mute microphone. There you go. So that's what's up. We're gonna be doing meetings on a regular basis. We're calling it 99 Infinite Supply Boys and Girls Club. <laughs> and, uh, and that's because really you are hooked up to infinite supply. And if you don't know that yet, this will be a place for you to get confirmation of that. Um, and you are though, you, you are the infinite supply. Your frequency is your currency. And we're seeing lots of changes in the world, but that's because you've been changing and you're awake. You've awakened, you've always been awake. And so we're just sort of here to support each other. Um, through the heart frequency, which means we're doing everything donation based, which means we're just excited to do this. <laughs> we're excited to be here with you. And um, we're giving from our hearts, which puts us in a really high frequency. And it gives you the opportunity, if you want to give, to give from your heart too, which puts you in a really high frequency. And if you want to sit back and receive this, there's one lady that helped me a lot, Marina Jacoby. For years, I read her stuff and watched videos before I donated anything to her. So there's no um obligation whatsoever or expectation we're just here enjoying this river ride with you um and so in the in the frequency of giving what i found is because i do a lot of like one-on-one -on -one meetings with people too um and somebody's texting me that their wi-fi is not working I do a lot of one-on-one -on -one meetings with people and Hoot's doing a lot of one-on-one -on -one meetings with people too. You can jump on our schedule through the links in our profile. Mine's turned off right now because I had so many requests recently and I have to even do some reschedules. Um, I apologize for that. Some co sch scheduling conflicts came up. My highest excitement fell in my lap and I have to go do it. So, um, and you guys are my highest excitement too. So my commitment here is to show up for you on a regular basis just like as if you were in my life, just like I show up for Hoot here. He's in my he's in my house right now. So we, it's okay. our house. And, and um, it? <laughs> yes. And so we're here like that. Like, it's like, let's be here together for each other. Let's be able to rely on each other in a sense and um, not need anything from each other, but give as much as we can. So inside of the frequency of giving, I receive every day blissful moments. If you believe in the law of attraction, the more bliss you're putting out, the more bliss you're coming back to you. You take action from a place of bliss. You give love more to the people around you. You wave at people, you peace at people. You just become um, sort of like a vortex of love. And so that's what I'm here sharing. You know, I, I came out of finance and have a technical background there. So I share about that stuff too, because the quantum financial system is here now. It's already here. So. It's about, you have to match the frequency of it to see it. And so by signing up for our webinars, you are telling the universe that you want to match the frequency of the quantum financial system to see the benefits and get your quantum financial debit card, um, which you already have. Actually, the front end of the whole system is the regular banks that you use now. You, even though the bank that you have has history, and you think that that brand is the custodian for your money, they're not really the custodian. Um, that that has shifted behind the scenes and it's slowly trickling down to the CEOs of the companies and things now because it was an energetic shift. And our banking system isn't just 150 years old. 
this energetic shape was in place for thousands of years and those agreements have expired. And so now new agreements are in place and you have to, in a sense, here's how this works. Okay. Create it to see it. What do I mean? It means that if you just sit back and wait for everything to come to you, right, then you might be waiting a while. It doesn't mean it won't come to you. It's just like, it's available to you now. So why wouldn't you just put one step in front of the other, one foot in front of the other, and start walking towards it? I don't know if you've seen that picture of Michelangelo and God, and they're like hanging out like this, like with their arm up and the fingers like this. And all Michelangelo has to do is lift up his finger like that to touch God's finger. Well, that's what I'm inviting you to do here through this permission slip is to just lift up your finger, touch the finger of God, because God has already created the quantum financial system. God has created the rails for it. God has created the health care. God has created your freedom. God has created that we don't need governments anymore. God has created your happiness, your love, your joy. Everything is available to you. You just have to be, it's waiting for you <laughs> to be the cooperative component of the vortex that's already been created. So by taking some steps to create what you want to see, then you look around and you see, oh, it was created 10 years ago because time doesn't exist, right? We create time. Time serves you. Let time work for you. Um, so that's about what I have to say today. Like I said, we're going to do these at least once a week, probably twice a week at some different times. Um, I'm just busy this next week. Like uh, Monday through Friday, I'm going to be on a ski hill. So, um, and I'm, 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 I'm thankful for that. So with love, I'm doing lots of meetings. Hoot's doing lots of meetings. If you can't get on my schedule, get on Hoot's schedule. You know, Hoot, me and Hoot, Hoot, tell, tell, tell them about us. Like, what have we been up to? Like, who are we? Tell well, them about you. <laughs> tell them about me. Yes, well, I, I come from the world of TV and, and film and, uh, and Neil and I connected uh, in Los Angeles area and um, at a place called Landmark, um, where you learn all about uh, yourself, essentially, and getting on on the court and sharing sharing from the heart. And you, it's you come you get into vulnerable situations and where you're sharing your stuff and it comes out and. Um, and it's very powerful the inner energy exchange within that within that room and and it and it transmutes and uplifts you and and your vibration and then from there went on a, a massive spiritual journey um you know hit hit rock bottom went you know hit rock bottom in my life and didn't want to um, really be around here anymore but it was in that moment in that silence um when meditating where that still small voice started to get louder and started tuning into that and started doing that more and more of tuning in to that, to that light that I am. Cause you know, when you pray, you talk to God, when you meditate, God talks to you. And, and that's what I discovered through, through this journey and, uh, and, and immersing myself in spiritual growth work and, and, and just living, moving, and having my way of beingness with the power and presence every day. And then more just starts to flow through you, and that light just shines upon you. It's like, and discovered also, you, you can't be in the light when holding others in darkness. So it's really just love everything and everyone. So even these systems that were, that, that are here right now, like these banking systems and, and the Kronos, love it all because it's all us. But, and, we're creating this new system. The new system's already been created, so it's tuning into it. So, so by us, like vibrating in the power and the presence more often, then we are creating that. We're we're raising our vibration. We're on a on a on a parallel timeline that's even higher, and we just keep vibrating higher. And let's let's become this system. Let's let's make this system. Let's become it. Let's just be this system, and welcome in quantum financial banking i'm so excited and blessed to be here and i love sharing and love connecting with all of you love to connect whenever like let's yeah let's get on from calls and and see what we can create and and you know just live and laugh and elevate and love more so 
and who's got like six hours a day reserved for calls this next week so um i do you know if, yeah if you're ready to play we're ready to we're ready to help and receive and give you know so um the other thing i wanted to say is that you're a multi-dimensional being so you have at least let's say eight other parts of yourself when you go to sleep at night you're tapping into these other realms these other parts of yourself even the people in your life they are other parts of yourself too and when you can when you start to look at the world as that as everything is you it really gives you a lot of love for everything right as much love as you can give yourself you give to everything and it will transform anything in your life i've i've been through i don't want to call it hard times because they weren't hard times they were the most magical times of my life i wouldn't i wouldn't trade any of them a second of them for anything okay and I've transformed those those things that that looked like they weren't going good for me in, in a while to now where I can say to those things in those people, I love you so much. And it's like an echo. When you start doing that, it doesn't the the reflection doesn't change the first time or the second time. Maybe the second time it changes a little bit. And by the third or fourth time, you hold the, the smile on your face. When you smile, the, the world smiles back. You can hold that no matter what it looks like. No matter what it looks like. You got to be fearless. Fear was a program designed to keep you in a timeline that is not your highest timeline. And it's easy to say, be fearless, right? But maybe it's even easier to say, love all of it as you, right? You don't have fear. You can't be in love and fear in the same bucket. You can't put love and fear in the same bucket. You got to choose one. So choose the loving and choose it with the small things that come up in your life. Whatever that is, you'll be tested and it'll catch you off guard. And if your gut reaction is to like um, resist or get upset, you know, then that you're you're creating a hologram through that. If your gut reaction is to love and bless and allow, things will change in front of your face like this. And the higher you walk, the bigger game you want to play, the more scary, like if you look down, it's like 15,000 feet down, but um, you get to walk on a path that not too many other people probably, it, well, the thing is it's available to everybody. Everybody's ava it's available to everybody. And if you choose, you can live a life that you love. So it's telling me it's going to automatically end in five minutes. So if there's any questions, I'm going to. Let's go to the chat. Um, I'm in Idaho Springs. Where are you guys in Colorado? Oh, cool. I'm gonna about to drive through Idaho Springs to Breckenridge, and we're in Denver. Yeah, um, south of Denver, like by 40 minutes. So I'm gonna be in Breck all next week. Um, so that's what's up. Anything else? Let me see here. Nice. Yeah, nice. Nice to meet you, really. This is Soul Tribe time, you know? Yes. Let's come together. Soul Tribe no time. <laughs> no matter where we are in the world. And let's frequently have this frequency, frequency, right? Where we share things that work for you. I'll share one thing for you right now. Right now, I fasted about 39 hours. I feel if I had to put a dollar amount on it, like a trillion gazillion dollars. My mood is so good. Um, I feel light when I do eat again, I'm going to appreciate that food so much, you know, it tastes so much better. <laughs> it tastes so much better. You only want to put good stuff in your body. Um, have great experiences. You savor everything more. So I would say like food is a relationship that we all have. that's super close to us. And if you can heal your relationship with food, you can heal your relationship with anything. And um, I'm also drinking alkaline water, which honestly makes it so that you don't really even want to eat anything because it's like changes the alkalinity of your body to where food's not really on your mind anymore. Um, so that's one share I'll, I'll just share, which is something anybody can do. It's just zip your mouth for a little while. Your, your, your stem cells go up. Try and buy some of those. Those will cost you about a million dollars. <laughs> um, your human growth hormone goes up for a man, 2000% in 24 hours for a woman, 1300%. So your body heals a lot. Um, you, you actually maintain, I look good. I, I lost a hundred pounds over the last five years. Um, and I feel great. I feel amazing. 
um, your brain cells go up, your B BDNF goes up. So you start growing more brain cells connections, kind of like if you were doing mushrooms or um, something like that. You have a lot of clarity, so there's no confusions like if you were doing mushrooms. That would be some of that probably. Um, so it's kind of like a, a way to be on this psychedelic realm without doing psychedelics. You're, I'm higher all the time now than I was back when I did psychedelics for a few hours, you know. Um, I'm not I'm not endorsing psychedelics or not doing psychedelics. They were a big part of my journey and Hoot's journey. Um, and we're deeply thankful to the experiences we've had through mushrooms. And, um, and now just knowing that we can access that just through fasting alone is such a gift and a beautiful thing. Yeah. And definitely breathing. invite you. I, yes. Uh, Jocelyn, I invite you to try this fasting business for sure. It's beautiful. And just see what comes through so much more light start coming in through you. And you can check and, it with and, yourself because there's a vast difference between one's thinking and one's knowing. And it's just checking in with, with your heart and see what your body tells you. Like, is yeah. this right for me? And yeah, yeah, there's it'll no guide pressure. you with anything. Yes. And there's no pressure. Like the first time you fast, if you eat like a good lunch and you skip dinner and skip breakfast the next day, you already made it 18 hours. That's a great first uh, 16 hours, 18 hours. Um, you know, there's videos on YouTube, Dr. Berg. I probably watched his benefits of fasting video about a thousand times during my first fast to like inspire me to go even further. Um, so, you know, check in with your doctor and all that. And but more than your doctor, just check in with yourself. I healed a broken toe. It was totally shattered. They wanted to put um, pins in it and stuff. And I said, no, thank you. I healed it to 100 percent. I'm doing yoga and stuff again. Um, it took about six months totally to heal, but like you are connected to infinite intelligence and so are your cells. So just like know that you're a powerful creator. Yeah.